back at the Sportsplex with a huge game early in the De Anza division between Palo Alto rivals Gunn and Palo Alto. The Gunn Titans are coming off the prospect tournament title with Alex Gill notching a double-double. Yeah, he's really good. Palo Alto making it to the final game of last week's Joe Schramm tournament at St. Francis with sophomore guard Paul Jackson III having a big tournament. The two teams meeting Friday night in our second Togo's Monster game. Our Taylor Lambert was there. Yeah. Welcome to Gun High School this evening. It is a huge crosstown rivalry game between the host Titans and the visiting Pally Palo Alto Vikings. Pally, they really showed up today. The crowd is going crazy and they are led by Miles Tension. He's a real player for the Vikings. Gun, meanwhile, has a host of talented players, but none better than Alex Gill. He can do it all, both on offense and defense. Obviously a massive one today. Huge crowd, standing room only, so we made it the monster game. Early first quarter, guns Alex Gill with the rock, and nobody's going to stop Alex. Watch his mouth as he runs back up the court. You can't stop me. See? You, you can't stop him. On the other end for Pally, nice pass by Jack Simonson. Guns, Rohit Sampathy comes up with a big block, though. It was an intense game in the early going. Rebound for Gunn, but sophomore Paul Jackson takes it away and dishes to Max Dorward, who appreciates that fine gesture, and now it's Miles Tension for the Vikings. Gets it to Max Dorward and puts up two more points. Max also just a sophomore, a young team for these Vikings, just two seniors on the roster. Meanwhile, Alex Gill, you can't stop him! But Palo Alto is up 25 to 20 at this point. We'll take a break from the Alex Gill show and check in on Josh Radin. And turns out he's good at basketball. The Titans a very aggressive team. Now we go to the second half and Miles Tension decides it takes over the game. Being aggressive in his own right, tension starting to feel it. He just walks into a three-pointer right here to make it a 10-point pally lead. Miles can do it all. He's absolutely unconscious right here, and so is this young man. Feeling the, whoa, aggressive. Gill doing it all he can in the fourth quarter, falls down, keeps the dribble, drives in traffic up and under. That's a good basketball player right there, and speaking of good, here's mild tension again. Four three-pointers in the game, all in the second half, 13-point lead here, and that'll pump up the pally crowd. It actually doesn't take much to pump them up, but that will do it. To finish it off, we have Miles with the one-handed pass to Max Dorward, and he'll drop in two more. Miles with 25, Max with 15. While Jack Simonson after the game, we'll talk to him. He finished with 10. I believe our coach wants us all to play our roles. You know, we pass out when you can, rebound when you can, do everything. Uh, I believe in the first half, well, we were focusing on defense because Gunn is very good at transition defense, uh, transition offense, and uh, we really wanted to focus on defending them there. And it wasn't really working the first half. That's why it was such a close game. But in the second half, we got our stuff together and we played much better. In Palo Alto with the Monster Game, I'm Taylor Lambert, Cal High Sports Bay Area.